Mick is as I understand in West Ham Fan TV. In, in essence of it, I know it's a tough game, but it's a pretty poor performance. Yeah, definitely. Expected more. Season opener today. Um, was looking for more. Obviously, it was a free hit for us. We're playing the champions, right? Champions and possibly the champions elect. But was expecting more. I think today, if you look at it tactically, we kind of... I expected more from the individuals. We set up with a 4-2-3-1 formation. We got outrun in the midfield. City left two at the back, literally left their centre backs there with their full backs, Can Cancelo, Walker, almost basically playing as inverted yeah. midfield DMs, and that caused us to get overrun. We had Lanzini, um, who was literally marking Rodri, um, which, and you got our two DMs who. We got, we're in a situation where we've got no ball carriers in our team, no one that's comfortable in possession to basically hold the ball, turn it, pick a pass or keep it simple. City, whenever they're in possession, they keep hold of the ball and if there's nothing on, they carry it. We um, don't have that and it's frustrating and, and I just expected more from a few individuals today. We've got players obviously playing in square pegs and round holes but even with Four Nels, I have a love-hate relationship with Four Nels because he's someone that puts the work in we know. However, I think he thinks he's better technically than he actually is. He wants to put a little flick or whatever. He's thinking of the next move before he's executed the, the control. And he often basically comes short as, as a result. You've got the situation whereby, um, what do you call it, when, when we're in possession in the second half, the reason why we saw that little change of um, gameplay was due to the fact that we actually switched to formation. I don't know if people clocked it, but we went to a 4-3-3 yeah. and then you kind of had Bowen down the middle, Van Tony on the left, Fournos came back on the right. What that then provided was a bit more legs in midfield, but it enabled us to break down their block and then do what we do best, which is that counter-attack turnover, because we don't have that player that can just pick a pass. And now I, I can kind of see it why Moyes has targeted you know, um, a left-sided winger slash fullback, um, a left-back centre midfielder, and and a forward as as targets. So I believe he wants to be able to have that in-game management fluidity where he can change yeah. from a four-two-three-one to five-five at the back to a four-three-three in-game. We don't have the personnel to do that. We stick number tens out on the left who can't. You know, keep the ball basically. Do you think the new signings are going to change the dynamic, the, the, the way we play yeah. altogether? Yeah. When Skemaka come on, yeah. he looked like a centre forward. Yeah, yeah. What people need to understand there's some people saying, oh, "I'm not sure." Listen, Skemaka's uh, played no pre-season. He ain't played against no one, right? He got the little 25 minutes there. He showed enough for me where he was hungry. He won headers. We didn't win no headers in that first half. Yeah, our big boys didn't win anything. Yeah. He won two headers, he had a chance, yes it was offside, took it well, kept possession and he's got a little bit of uh, movement and pace and tenacity about him. I saw enough there to think the future's bright. The, the, this, um, the five sub situation as well is going to be interesting because we know Moyes can be stubborn if he's making changes, particularly because we don't have personnel. But, but where we have this five sub thing now where you can only make changes in three periods of play, we're going to see multiple substitutions yeah, now. Yeah. And, and I think for us, in order to see um, a difference, even if it's like when fans say sling, sling him on, sling someone on, I think we will see that now. Um, and, you know, he was forced into that double change to neutralise one of those changing spots. So, you know, look, today's free hit is City. We need to judge our team on games next week and against nemesis like Brighton and stuff like that. City is City. They played in second gear, but... They basically, if you've got their wingers, so Grealish and Foden in the first half, who just stay out wide and don't come back, they never go past their, their, their uh, they never go past the halfway line, they just stay there. So you've got Creswell and Kufal just, you know, they're just basically scared to move. So then that means whoever we're playing behind in today, you know, um, Bowen and Flippy Fournells, they just concentrating on who's going to run in behind them. So they're basically playing like two fullbacks on each side, basically, um, while they maintain that possession. Forget today, yeah? It's about next week, week after. I saw enough today to kind of like forecast where the season's going. We're playing for top six to ten, anywhere in that radius.
we'll finish we could finish anywhere six seven eight nine ten in my opinion we need a bit of luck we get Cornet in Skamaka in hopefully a few more signings I think there'll be a couple of surprise loans good loans that could make and break our season brilliant thank you very much cheers, cheers pal